how to do il boot Fedora 25 and Windows 10. First we have to prepare the space on your disk drive for Fedora installation. Follow the steps. Right click on this PC. Then choose manage. Then disk. Then disk management. Right click on the drive that you want to isolate some space from it in order to use it for Fedora. Hit shrink volume then write the amount of space in this field for example 100 GB, before you proceed ensure that you have that amount of free space. After the process is done you will notice that there is unallocated space that actually will be used during the installation of Fedora. Now let's move to step 2. The second question is, how to create a bootable USB to install Fedora using Rufus. First we First we need to download Fedora from the official site as follows. I am gonna cancel the installation as I already have it. Then install Rufus. Open Rufus. Click on the disk image and choose the Fedora ISO that you have downloaded, then proceed. Wait for the process until it finishes. Let's move to the installation process of Linux Fedora. Restart Restart your system and go to boot menu, the boot from your USB. Hit any key to start the live version of Fedora. Choose install to hard drive. Then choose the language you prefer, in my case I will choose English. Click on Installation Destination to choose the volume that we previously prepared, then click Done. Done. Cool. 
Create a password for root user. Then create another user if you prefer to, then proceed. Let the process complete. Now when you restart you will find both Fedora and Windows 10 in your boot menu. And the last question would be how can I delete or uninstall Fedora and get back its volume in Windows? Well it is easy, just follow the steps. Right click on this PC. Manage, Manage. Disk Management. Right click on the volume that represents Fedora and choose delete volume. Then right click again and choose new simple volume. Then the best tool we can use to manage this volume is Mini Tool Partition Wizard, so we open it. You will notice that the volume is unformatted yet, so right click and format. Write a label letter and proceed. It is formatted now, you have two options, the first you can click apply and use the volume as a separated new drive or you can merge it with an existing drive by deleting the volume, so it becomes unallocated, then extend the drive beside it, then apply, it may take some time so let it until it finishes. <laughs> 